to do is take a look back at these markets. As you said earlier, first time they're open this week after two days of being closed. So we're going to need to bring in the experts. On the technicals, we've got Larry Schilber. He's a chief investment officer at SFG Alternatives. And on the fundamentals, John Carey, portfolio manager at Pioneer Investment in Ma Management, joining us from up in Boston. Larry, why don't we start with you? What do you make of these markets? We're brushing off the dust. We're right back into it. What's your thoughts? Well, right now, I'm looking at the fact that cross-asset volatility is lower. Let's forget about the S&P for a minute. You look at gold, you look at oil, you look at foreign currency, all volatilities are lower right now. I think uh, in the last 24 to 48 hours, we've uh, reduced what the damage estimates are going to be, and people are just going back to looking at the good things that are going on right now, and that is consumer spending, the tailwind in housing that's going to provide Europe and the, and the good news that's coming out of there. I think we're back to being macro-focused. John Kerry, uh, earlier this morning, uh, Mayor Bloomberg, who is, of course, the uh, founder of Bloomberg LP, the parent of this network, rang the opening bell at the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, you can see him right there. Uh, on his way into the exchange. Look at that sun actually uh, shining down for the first time in many days. Uh, you're an investor who's actually trying to put money to work and, and trade in a lot of cross currents right now. Do you feel like the exchange and the infrastructure here has done everything uh, necessary to get us back to where we need to be? Uh, they've done a good job, I think, in uh, getting back to work today. There will be some questions, I think, about backup plans, uh, contingency plans, uh, uh, and uh, the confidence that people have uh, in uh, putting them to work, uh, actually. Uh, I guess there were some backup plans that people were a little bit cautious about. So we'll see uh, in the days and uh, weeks and months ahead uh, uh, what kinds of procedural uh, and operational uh, changes uh, the New York Stock Exchange might make. But I'm glad they're back at work. It's uh, terrific to see stocks trade once more. Larry, how about you? Your thoughts right here? Well, right now, everything is working fine, but we are removed. And uh, the, the volume here is lighter, but there is a little bit of action. We're seeing some downside buying in the S&P 500 behind me, especially in, de in December and the March options contracts on the downside. That's giving the VIX a little bit of a push on the upside right now. However, I think it's more just insurance protection more than anything else. Uh, John Kerry, let me ask, where are you deploying capital right now? We pursue a broadly diversified approach, but uh, with respect to areas that might be of particular interest right now, I do like health care, a little bit of a contrarian choice, uh, and yet also a defensive area uh, longer term, I think. Uh, I like some of the consumer stocks, uh, particularly some of those that could be favorably affected by improved housing. Uh, I also like uh, energy right now, a little bit of a contrarian pick, uh, but some of the energy stocks have underperformed, and yet there's uh, good long-term value there. Larry, I want to talk to you a little bit about the volumes today. Earlier, when we were talking to people in Chicago, they said people are back in the market slightly, but volumes were still low. Have we seen any pickup throughout the morning? I, I, I haven't today. Not, nothing at all. There's been a little bit of defense uh, in the part of the S&P traders and also the equity options traders across the street. There seems to be a little bit of protection buying, but I think people had two days off, realized that implied vols were on the cheap side of history, and even if they're bullish, it's a good time to be buying downside protection. We're seeing a little bit of buying uh, on the downside. Do you think we could continue this slowdown or, you know, really not much happening until after the election? Well, I mean, after the election, sure, I think we're worried about the fiscal cliff, the debt ceiling, everything else. However, right now, that seems to be not in the front and center right now. People are just looking at uh, macro events coming out of Europe or the lack thereof and the fact that uh, the earnings season is starting to be viewed through the rearview mirror. So volatilities are still fundamentally cheap. Uh, we're seeing some downside protection buying, but only because stock uh, volatility is very cheap right now. Uh, John, uh, Larry makes a good point. We're more than halfway through the earnings season. So as you start to look out over to uh, the next several quarters, what sort of sectors strike you as able to uh, grow their earnings? I do think that there will be some continued growth in some of the consumer areas. I also like uh, some of the more cyclical areas that have retreated, uh, that have corrected a bit. Uh, materials are kind of interesting. Some of the chemical companies uh, that might actually benefit from lower natural gas prices longer term. Uh, we could see some improvement uh, in Europe as well uh, over the next year, a little bit uh, early, uh, but I think over the next year they will get their house in order. And so some of the export-oriented capital goods companies could have some resumption of their business. 
Well, thank you both. It's important today rather yes. than any other day to have a conversation both on the technicals and the fundamentals because with so many people back in the markets, we are all trying to make heads and tails of it. That's Larry Shover, Chief Investment Officer at SFG Alternatives, and John Carey, Portfolio Manager at Pioneer Investment Management, who will be with us throughout the hour.